Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to build all the staffs in Origins. I'm going to be starting off with ice, wind, then lightning, then fire. Now the ice disc can spawn in two different locations, both in Gen 2 area, either on the first desk or the shelf later in this clip. Now the next core staff pieces you can only get while it's snowing. Now you have to dig these up. The first ice staff piece you can get is in the Gen 2 and Gen 3 area. This step to getting the ice staff might take a few tries. There's three different areas where you can get the staff pieces. One being in spawn, mid-map, and church. After you get a piece from an area, you can't get it in that area again. You have to go to the next. Note that there's no certain order you have to do this in. You can get church first if you wanted to. It'll just take more time. The spawn area extends from gen 2 and 3. Middle map extends from the first debris you buy towards middle map. And finally, the church area extends from the first debris you buy towards church. Pretty much wherever that designated robot puts its foot, it's where you can dig the sites up. Now you have all the pieces, uh, you're not quite done. You have to go to the designated tunnel of each staff to get its gem. The ice tunnel is located right next to the footprint right before gen 6. Take a left right in the footprint and you'll find it. Before you can get the gem, you have to go get the gramophone which is located in center map. The gramophone is always located in the same spot, so you don't really have to worry about that. Since you're grabbing the gramophone, you might as well grab its disc because it'll be very important very soon. There's three different positions where the disc can be, and they're all very near each other, all around the excavation site. Now we can finally finish building our ice staff. Finally. Proceed to go down the ice tunnel, as previously stated, and put the gramophone down. Now the gramophone is down, the portal will form to the crazy place. Now go pick up the gem, as seen in the clip. Now that you have the gem, activate the teleporter and leave the crazy place. Don't forget to pick up the gramophone on the way out, as you'll need this around the map and every time you want to go to the crazy place. Now that you have the gem, you can finally go to the excavation site. Head down the newly built stairs, thanks to the gramophone, and build the staff. Don't try to do a 360 like me, as I obviously failed. Now let's go over what we just have done. We got the record, the spawn staff piece, the middle staff piece, the church staff piece, and the gym. Now let's move on to the wind. The first step to building the wind staff is obviously the disc. The first potential spawn is to the right of the lightning tunnel on a pile of crates. Next, directly down the lightning tunnel and to the left. Next spot I didn't have footage for because I forgot, but it is directly to the right of stamina. The next part's pretty easy. There are three different robots on the map. Each have a lit foot. The lit foot may not be the same every time it comes down, but it'll still have a lit foot. You need to locate the foot that is lit at a certain time and shoot it open. This allows you to get stepped on without dying and grab the piece that's on the table. Hopefully it's self-explanatory that there's only three robots, ergo there's only three staff parts other than the disc and the gem. You need to hop in each robot once. Note that there will not be more than one staff piece that will spawn in each robot, so you'll need to go to each part of the map to do this. So head down to the crazy place and get your gem and build your staff. So now onto the lightning staff. So for all the lightning staff pieces, you have to take the take around the map a couple of times. The first part being on your right next to gen 2, the second on your left in mid map near the excavation site, and third on the way back to the church. And no, I didn't forget about the disc. So the disc locations are all pretty similar, they're all pretty close together. The lightning being no different, the first one spawns on your right on your way to jug, there's a wagon and it should be right there. If not, there's a workbench next to Jug. If not there, there is another spawn in the wind tunnel. Sadly, I don't have footage for this, but it's there if, if it's not in the other two places. And the reason I saved the fire staff for last is because it's kind of the hardest to get, or it can take the longest. The one that usually people get first is the one that you see in the clip is from the Panzer. You pretty much just have to kill him. Nothing special. The next staff piece is just from completing generator 6. All you have to do is click the square or X button and complete the generator. The last and final one is after you go in the church area, the plane will start flying around. This is a red plane, and it pretty much just flies around. All you gotta do is shoot it down, nothing special. Just shoot it down, and the last final piece will spawn. The disc locations are pretty simple, the first one being right next to the tank. The second and third positions, one being on the bench on the top floor of church, and one being to the left of generator 6. Now all you have to do is go to spawn, and on the generator 3 side, there is a tunnel that is labeled fire, and all you have to do is go in there and get your gem, and you can go build your fire staff. So now you guys have all the staffs built, and I really hope you guys thought this video was helpful. For more videos to come, this is Steven, and peace out. This staff appears ancient, yet modern.